And we're back. <laughs> Unfortunately. We're back. Some people say it's unfortunately for our competition because we're not going to stop. We're taking everybody out of the game. If you thought you had a podcast before this. We're the Suge Knight of this. And by that, we mean we're, we're, we're overweight. And by that, I mean we're going to ruin our own company <laughs> 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 by selfishness. and By that, I mean vanilla ice were coming. By that, we mean whatever guest we have on first. Be careful because we, we might have you shot. By that I mean when I reverse, I don't look behind me. By that I mean, I actually had a, had a good childhood growing up, and uh, I'm pr- I'm pretending to be a thug now. By that I mean my real name is Matthew. I don't know his real name. <laughs> what if it says Matthew or like Jake? I don't know. I think his name was Shug. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Shug. No, anyways. We well, you know, here's what I realized, and uh, we 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 establish who we are. We establish what we love. Who we love. Um, we have a third person on the mic. We never fully like introduce them. Um, we referred to her by like three different names in the first episode. So, um, her re- her government is Chooch. Chooch, uh, say some words to the people. Hey, you're not gonna see Chooch because it's where you just you're not gonna see Chooch. But no, she's present. I like how this adds to the obscurity of Chooch's like uh internet footprint because like you could hear her, but you'll you'll never know what she looks like. Well, this is the realest. It's weird how like uh, they're getting to know the realest version of you, but they're never gonna know. It's it's almost the opposite because on social media you're private, but people know you, but there's no presence. Here, there's a presence, but they don't know you. Also, your friends will most likely never see this. Yeah. Yeah, very true. Unless you post. I, I it. need you to get get closer to the mic. Eat it, the mic. Go. Very true. There we go. Yeah. Um. So like we we figured some some things to get to know Chooch a little bit better would be going through like uh, maybe like a few of her list of like top things. Yeah. Um, and the my my thing in life is to really get to know someone, you gotta know who they hate, and because that's what what we all bond over. I love when when you get to know someone, you find out you guys hate the same person. I'll do you one better. You ever actually. No, it's okay. Is it, so you like? Are you gonna you talk about person? abuse? No, I was gonna say like when you, one of my best friends. He's one of my best friends because like, we we went on a double date once with with like two girls that were best friends, uh-huh. and after the double date, we figured out that our like, dating history before that was <laughs> identical. Like same girl. Same girls, all of them. Jesus. Like like six deep. Six is a lot. There's no not six. But like you, you get the picture. That yeah, was, that was like hyperbolic. Five. No, come on. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but yeah, but see, so okay, so that's one way by dating the same person or by who they hate. So for this to really get you guys to know Chooch, who's our who's our third? Uh, she's never gonna be on camera. She always, but she's gonna be heard and she's gonna be seen through the, her off screen <laughs> mic. Anyways, <laughs> Chooch, give us your. This is Chooch's most wanted. Okay, so this list changes pretty frequently, but as of right now. At the top of my list is my dog, and it's pretty easy, pretty simple why he's up there. He peed on the couches when we weren't watching him, and it was probably in the span of 30 minutes, and somehow I still got blamed for it, so mm-hmm. that's why he's up there. Um, Good pick. It well, also, isn't your dog dying? No, no, no. The The other one. Oh, so this one's just the... Oh, okay. So if I was the healthy a, one, I'd piss and blame it on the dying one. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay, true. That is a good point. Um, My counselor, she's just being really difficult right now. I don't really have a reason. I'm just really anti-school right now, and she's making it worse. Preach. Um, Lana Del Rey, she was supposed to drop her album yesterday, and then she pushed it back to, like, I think two weeks from now. I feel like doesn't she drop often? I feel like she drops like every few months. No, she's like it's the like end of a young boy of, of white women. It's like no. every two three years. Are you serious? When was I've, normally Lana Del Rey is like the Kanye? Like uh, Lana Del Rey fans are the female equivalent to Kanye fans. Okay, oh. that's maybe because they will die on a cross for Lana. That's true. They will die on a cross. And they're they very will do niche. as Lana says. Well, what is what's so good about Lana? That's a dangerous statement. I think Lana's not more saying that I don't. Not saying that I, I don't. I, I ju- it's just like I'm ignorant to Lana. I'm not saying I'm against Lana. I'm not saying I'm. I don't want to be for Lana. I just I know uh, that one song from TikTok where it's like give peace a chance. Yeah, and she, then I she's like a Hispanic icon. Summertime sadness. Yeah. She's Mexican. You said right? No, 
<laughs> she's a wannabe. Yeah, but that's the thing. Like, no one ever really cancels her for these things. We kind of just like it's just like an ongoing joke. Like it's like haha. Like yeah. And like I said, <laughs> that goes back to Kanye fans with the whole like anti-Semitism. Oh. It was just a bit. Yeah, but it's not as bad. <laughs> wait, wait. <laughs> Lana Del Rey is just like Kanye with anti-Semitism, but for Mexicans. You know what I mean? Well, she so she thinks she's Mexican, or what is it? Her fans think she's Mexican, or what's the no, deal? No, she just. I don't know if it's that she thinks she's Mexican or like she wants to be Mexican. It's it's not that serious to us. I think we just appreciate her. I think it's her cultural appreciation. What does she do to appreciate? Um, smoke cigarettes. Yeah. <laughs> smoke c- cigarette. Let me guess. Smoke cigarettes, wears flannels, and then uh, lip liner. Yeah. That, yeah. That, that's super spot on. <laughs> yeah. Wait, why are cigarettes Mexican? It's, it's also like the culture she creates because it's not even <laughs> wait like, what now she's creating it? no because like <laughs> everyone that listens to her music like you'll like see something you'll see like someone with like a ribbon in their hair and you're like that's so lana <laughs> wait, so what? it's just like she's more than her music <laughs> 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 you see, you see somebody, you see somebody with an abusive boyfriend. You're like, man, I oh, love that's, Lana Del Rey. that's another thing. She'll date like really old white men. <laughs> 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 that's that's Lana. You see someone getting groomed at high school. Lana, that's Lana, Lana. dude. Uh, you you see somebody with uh, an older man who's not their grandfather. Lana, yeah, Lana. talk about it. You see someone with scars on their wrist? That's, <laughs> That's Lana. Lana. <laughs> you see somebody uh, uh, with a, a life insurance policy? That's, That's Lana. Lana. You see someone with a Coke spoon? <laughs> That's, That's Lana. Lana. Oh, yeah, isn't she like yes. addicted to Coke? Yeah. Well, no, because then she'd be skinny. She okay. <laughs> Wait, that's what, that's, that's what crazy. Kind of, I feel bad because because she, <laughs> <laughs> she, she does all this coke and <laughs> she's not even coke skin. No, <laughs> she just gets the bad of it. She's just like her nose is always bleeding, but she just you know. She used to be like really, really skinny. Not really skinny, just skinny. And then, and I I'm mean, not saying she's not skinny she, now, she's but not, like, she's just like not as skinny coke skinny is different before. though. She like she just looks healthy now. I mean, and that's why you feel bad. <laughs> no, because people, because people are like, oh, she really let herself go, but like she's just older. Like she's not gonna be how she was. That's she fair. Was. Also, white women. Well, I know. Well, what? Selena Gomez isn't white. She's like Mexican, isn't well, she? Well, she has. She's lupus. like Mexican. What does that Wait, mean? Wait, what? She has a disease, and it's it like makes your <laughs> it makes your face puffy. It makes you gain weight. That's what I was gonna say. I was gonna say she has moon, moon Selena, face. Yeah, for Selena Gomez, because Lana. The only thing I've seen about Lana is her face does look puffier. Over these years, or like you know, more filled in, and I was gonna say that's the same thing with Selena, and then you go lupus. <laughs> um, you see someone with lupus? That's, <laughs> that's Lana. Lana. <laughs> uh, dude, I don't but, know. <laughs> but so she's top five just because she didn't drop. That is that does suck when you're. Fa- I remember when Kanye would. Do, she you is see like what Kanye. I'm talking about. Y- yeah, you. yeah. Do you think she's ever gonna go uh, racist well, towards Mexicans? I don't think so. And I think I'm pretty sure she didn't drop because I think Miley Cyrus dropped on the same day and like she wanted her to have her shine. But it's like, come on. Yeah. Miley's coming back. Miley and back. Remember like her her like um, light skin era where she was like a little like rapper girl. Yeah. She was like bad baby before bad Bad baby. baby. She took a complete left turn and I'm into it. I'm into where she's at now. She's like kind of like taking the Stevie Nicks route. Yeah, and, well, uh, that's what, dude. Her sleeping with her bandmates. Her, oh, she's doing that. Wasn't she dating Thor's brother? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. What happened with that? They're, they were in love. they were they were married. He cheated. They were well, married. They had like a crazy love story. Like they had. That's Lana. They had been affiliated <laughs> for like ten years, and like they were in a movie together, and then they like were on and off, and then they got married. And they weren't married for that long, and then I think he cheated, and then that's where that flowers song came from. Oh, I ca- that I came by myself. I heard flowers. that's like one of the most streamed songs ever, and I, I, I I've over heard Gangnam Style. We need to have she needs to have a computer because <laughs> now <laughs> there's no answer. I don't know. <laughs> we'll just edit something and no or yes. We just yeah, it's just writing, but no. Um, Dude, Gen Z on an iPhone, she'll figure it out in like quicker than, than exactly. Anything. Yeah, she'll find a TikTok explaining it. Um, um, but no, what was I gonna say? Yeah, well, dude, her covers it's were actually ridiculous. Blinding lights by the weekend. 
Oh, but what? Well, where's here? Is I saw some stat that it was like, or at least most listened to song this month. It was ridiculous, like numbers, like twenty million, something ridiculous. But her covers are really good. Her zombie cover, her Jolene cover. She's done. Jolene. She's, oh, the, the Blondie song. Oh yeah, the, Blondie, dude, cover Queen, right? Yeah, I think the Blondie song was what really like brought her back there. Yeah. We we got my dad good this morning because uh, someone someone brought up Miley Cyrus, right? He goes, she was Hannah Montana, right? And we were like, well, she she was in Hannah Montana. He was like, what do you mean? We were like, well, she was, she was Hannah Montana when Hannah Montana wasn't Hannah Montana. But they got someone else to play Hannah Montana. Mm -hmm. And he was like, really? I didn't know that. That's, that's interesting. And we we just <laughs> had him going. So we'll see how long that that, that lasts. Um, yeah, Miley's one of those people. Miley is doing. A, I think she's the only child star to come back. Uh, right? Demi looked like she was gonna come back. And then lost well, it. Well, Demi, I think Demi. Uh, Selena Gomez. Come back into singing. Well, Selena never had the. I'm, 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 I'm pregnant. Oh, okay. She I never had the the bad. I'm addicted to drugs. I'm pregnant. My boyfriend's Republican. She never had that. She just had like lupus. <laughs> um, but uh, what, what was I saying? Yeah, lo, Smiley's the only one to d drop and then come back and now be better than ever and be loved. That's I, true. I don't think anyone now. It's like it's good to love her again. Um and uh yeah I don't know so um that's a good point so who do you have any more on your top five or on your on your most wanted how how deep's the most wanted that was it so it, it could take seconds and it'll change yeah. though and she holds a grudge quick that's Lana, Lana. that is kind of Lana that is Lana I wish I knew see here's the thing Lana's there's some artists out there um music music wise that like I know they're good mm -hmm. but I'm just like fuck it's it's deep. Her catalog's deep, isn't it? She's like nine albums. She just she also has like a lot of unreleased but they're like they're like popular sounds on TikTok or like people just people already know them. Like and if if she I is the it Kanye. Through, you would already know it. But then there's also a lot of like like she will put out an album and then put out the deluxe version like yeah a year later or something. Oh, maybe that's why I think she drops so much. So there's, I think there's six total. There's Ultra Violence um ultra violence deluxe no i'm just kidding um <laughs> uh, ultra violence nfr uh i'm drawing so that, is that one good? i thought NFR, i knew is nfr good i feel like nfr was, was, was like NFR's nominated for grammys who who would win in a versus uh lana del rey or adele lana because her fans would like murder the yeah. adele fans you think it, i think that's it, the thing that adele it's, fans she's got the x like factor moms and like divorced moms and then, <laughs> Wait, what? That's Adele. <laughs> yeah, that's what I think of. And then, <laughs> and then Lana fans are like, Lana fans are kind of crazy. Dude, I can't listen to, to Rolling in the Deep without thinking <laughs> you know, about a, a sad mom. old white woman at Starbucks crying. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, that's that's another thing to get to know. Church. We'll just name artists and tell me what you think okay. for other fans. Okay, uh, here you you go first. You go first. Um, no, nah, I can't. I can't. Okay, uh, Nicki Minaj. Love. Lana, mother. <laughs> um, I literally I don't Doja know. Doja Cat. Um, she's kind of scaring me recently. Okay. Well, really? Yeah. She's not Lana. She's not giving Lana. No, no, I'm not. Not really, actually. No. Megan The Stallion. I believe her. Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you okay? Um, Lady Gaga. Love. I would die to see her in concert. Okay, should well, we do? We have good news for you, Chooch. <laughs> <laughs> One day. Come on in, lady. <laughs> yeah, come on, guy. Lady. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't process that I would call her Gaga if like I was in person. Because I'm not calling her Lady Gaga if I see her. It's got to be one or I'm the going other. Lady Gaga. I'm going to call her by her, yeah. Her what fool. I know her, Lady Gaga. I, I don't like when, because uh, people do this, especially like stands, they'll call their, fa their, their person they're standing by their name. Like, uh, who call, don't call Eminem Marshall. Oh, yeah, yeah. I can't do that. Or like people do that with the Earl Sweatshirt with DB. Te Tebe. Tebe? Oh, is that bad? Is yeah, that's that bad. That's pretty bad. Don't do that again. We're actually that's gonna cut Lana. That um, how do you feel about Ice Spice? I think she's doing great right now. I just I don't know how long it's gonna last. I know that scares can me I, too. It's can such I a fun ride. Transition a little bit. Yeah. Ice Spice. The the video I sent you. Mm -hmm. Um. Recently, Ice Spice came out in a in an interview with MTV, and they asked her if um. Uh, if any, which cartoon character she had a crush on growing up, and that I feel like it's pretty common as like a kid to have a crush on cartoon characters, you know, like yeah. Katara, um, the Danny Phantom, the, yeah, the, the big one, the Porsche from Cars. 
Yeah. Uh, you got any? Who did I have a crush on? That's a good point. Any of the uh, no, I, I think girls. it was all the girls in in the Danny Phantom. Oh, the 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 Trixie the, Tang. The cute. Oh yeah, Trixie Tang. The cute girl from, from Avatar, not Katara. The cute one, the cute Fire Nation. Yeah, one. yeah, all the Fire Nation girls. Literally all of them. Uh, I don't know. The crazy one was too crazy. Uh, uh, what's his name? Sister. Yeah. The Zuko's Eye? sister. Zuko's sister. So, in response to that April question, April O'Neil. <laughs> there you go. In response to that question, I Spice answered um, that she didn't really have crushes on any cartoon characters except one in specific try to guess who it was no he knows who it was <laughs> yeah uh, everyone's seen this. seen this her answer was spongebob squarepants and that's why she's look, on top look i don't know i don't know if you guys know this about me but the majority of my childhood i got made fun of and compared to spongebob squarepants I had buck teeth, freckles. Everyone called me SpongeBob Squares. This is the win I've been waiting for since I was 12 years old. I got called Carl Weezer <laughs> recently, <laughs> within the last two years. All that's, right, that's, that's pretty that good. Was, uh, that, no, was, that was that wasn't uh, a positive. I didn't want that reaction. Well, I, now I just feel bad. Well, now we're cutting that out. No, I feel bad. <laughs> Don't feel bad. Don't feel bad. No. It makes it real. Uh, um, no, but here's what I'm saying. Right, is like. Uh, I remember I, I wanted to call out the people that called me SpongeBob right now. I'm not going to, but like that's how ingrained in my memory. That's the it is. perfect reason of why Ice Spice is standing out right now. Cause she's doing things that are like we all get it. She's fighting for the little guy. We dude. we get it, but it's never said. She's like Rudy's teammates, you know? Like she's putting in yeah, she, she, the guys she, that matter. Yeah, she's putting she's putting us all on. Oh my but god! But that's the thing. Once she starts getting super popular, she's not going to be like relatable anymore. It is that huh? it's her how relatable she. Well, because she literally just seems like a modern girl the, next door. The most mo yeah, yeah the mo we haven't had a girl next door in a while. Okay, we haven't had that. A lot of new stuff is coming back. We got the girl next door with with Ice Spice. We got Jennifer Lawrence is dropping like a comedy. That reminded me. I, I don't know if it's gonna be good. I doubt it's gonna be good, and I don't care if it's good. Um, but early two thousands. Culture is coming back. It, it, it's it, kind finally of, that's low key ten things I hate about you, but uh, sex change. Mm -hmm. You get what I'm saying, right? I, I think why you know what I notice a lot more too. People that are like born in 2005, 2006 are obsessed with the early 2000s. The same way we were obsessed with the 90s. Are you, are you gonna put only 2000s kids will remember? <laughs> Y2K. No. Nah. You guys don't care about the early 2000s. Well, when I think early 2000s... <laughs> what was that noise? Early 2000s were perfect because we just got HD TV. <laughs> if things just got high def. We, Xbox 360. 360. Yeah, it was just it was right at the point before... Um, like You gained consciousness? And before we started to lose, like, just being people. Now we're too connected. Yeah. Because now it's, like, it's scary to think. Like, the other day, um, I was in a restaurant with some people, and they were being too loud. And I was like, fuck, if somebody, it, there's a real possibility that someone could film you. I don't like that. I, I've never been a fan of people filming you. I I want to say I'm not a fan, but I'm always the first person like. To film? Yeah. <laughs> okay, wait, so you're the problem. Yeah, I'm 100% the issue. Because like, if something's going wrong, I'll just like. <laughs> With flash in their fucking face. Or I'll do like the casual like. Oh no! I would, like I'm on the phone, I'll but do, I'm really I'll recording. Act, sometimes I'll act like I'm taking a, a selfie, and it's and I'm not. It's just it's just me filming someone. Or honestly, I I'll do this. Yeah, I remember I have a video when I was in a bathroom. Wait, um, no. So I was in the bathroom, <laughs> and wait, and I was washing my hands. I think that this is illegal. I was what? Is it? Yeah, yeah. I don't think you're allowed to record in bathrooms like publicly. So I was washing my hands, and then I heard these two guys talking about. Um, they were from Australia, and they were talk, and I wasn't filming them. I was filming them, but it was out to the door, and um, they were, I don't even remember, what but I was filming them, and I just acted like I was going through my phone, but I was doing it like this, so that's that's bad. That's one. That's super bad. You should act like you're on FaceTime. Oh, okay. Well, I was Because you my would phone. hold the phone up like this if you're on <laughs> FaceTime. But you're getting no response. Yeah. Also, so here's the thing. I didn't film, I, I didn't film them while they were, it was like the door was open, and we were all walking out, and I was doing this. So is that so bad? Well, why were you filming them? I think they were saying something. Cr I think it was drunk, and they were saying something <laughs> crazy, and I thought it was funny. Carlos, Carlos drunk is not good. It's not good because it's usually like, it's him invading people's like, 
not even personal space like they're full-on like private lives <laughs> wait wait why are we doing this wait let's go back to top <laughs> let's go back to what's wanted wait wait <laughs> we're not even to explain that well like Car- carlos will like He'll take your phone and start texting for you, or he'll be like, "Man, well, no, okay, he'll okay. just look at you and be like, man, you don't love yourself, huh?'" It's like, dude. <laughs> Here's what I do. Here's what I do. If I take someone's phone, number one, I'll like uh, ask as I'm grabbing it. I'll ask as I'm grabbing it if I can do it, and then I'll also be like, "Who can I text?" And then I'll text them, and I also show before I text, and it's also something. you're bad physically drunk too. Meaning, like, you, like you, you play into this little kid thing that that you you do. Like to t- tell them, tell Chuch what happened last night with the with the singles. Well, this isn't little kid. This is just real life. So, um, I I was at a club last night, and when I was at the club, I saw someone. I I well, here's what I felt. I felt something like like brush down my back or like my body, and I look down and I see like two dollar bills, and I immediately pick them up. And I put it in my pocket without hesitation. And I look around, and on the other side of me, there's like a little wall. Mm-hmm. I see about $60, $70 of dollar bills. Don't front like you don't know the full amount. Like I didn't count them. Like you didn't, <laughs> like pick, didn't, you, like you didn't pick them all up <laughs> and so, shove them so, in your pocket. So what I did was I started, pick, as much as I can, started to pick up a, a few <laughs> of them. And I got to the point where we're at a crowded club. Everyone's dancing, having fun, drunk. And I go up to a woman, and I go... I go, excuse me, and like, uh, she lets me through, and instead of walking past her, I just grab, no. grab at her feet. There's like three dollars. Oh. And then I think someone said broke, but I didn't care. Here's the thing, you know what they say? One man's trash is another man's treasure. One man's flex is another guy's attempt at trying to survive in this fucked up economy. This gets sadder and sadder. First, Carl Weezer now. <laughs> it's not supposed to be sad. Now you're talking about your financial <laughs> state. Well, I, well, here's the thing. It's the state of the world. Truth checked out, dude. That's how sad it was. No, I already heard it. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, I've heard this all before. Like, you're doing old bits. <laughs> that's true. That's true. That's the problem. Is like, someone told me like, uh, don't do the same bits you do with me with other people. And I'm like, I don't think you understand. I do it every chance I get. If, if I have a hitter on me, I'll do it with everyone. People I just meet. <laughs> dude and it gets better with time you, you just take swings yeah well it's also like I'll, I'll uh i'll do this thing where um i just i like the i like the attention of knowing it's good uh Is it, that's bad yeah <laughs> okay you're fake <laughs> No, no, no! It's not fake. Dude, that's Lana, but you're fake. It's that is Lana. That's that Lana. That's really Lana. <laughs> <laughs> it's not, all right. Don't, don't you? Why am I getting ganged up on for being? I'm getting ganged up on for being broke and real and bullied. That's so <laughs> Lana. <laughs> Here's the thing. First off, the title of this episode is that's, that's so, so that's Lana. So Lana. If that's so Lana, ha- are we doing episode titles? Yeah, we should. That's that's so Lana. <laughs> um, if if Lana Del Rey had a uh, uh, her own version of that's a Raven. <laughs> and that it'd be, it'd be that's a lot and every time she took a bump she like saw, saw do the first episode of what you think uh that's a lana is give us an example is she in high school who are her friends what what's the first like, no friends problem she's she's uh, oh that is lana. she's a girl's girl no friends no friends <laughs> no friends is, no friends no friends um, but she's always but she's always like uh getting hit up to hang out and she's like no but then she'll complain that she doesn't have friends she's she goes, like reading a book at a concert but she <laughs> <laughs> that that's Lana. That's Lana. She that's goes to that Lana. high school in Ten Things I Hate About You. Mm-hmm. She goes to that high school, um, but like it's like like rainy and dark, mm-hmm. and um, she doesn't get ice spice. She she doesn't get yeah. ice spice at all. She sits at a at a lunch table by herself and paints, and she probably wears like a like a nice red cardigan. Um, red nails. On the daily red, red nails, nails dark, for sure. Like Wine colored nails. Um, she has the the Mexican flag as a sticker in her locker. She says a fool. When she, she sees herself in the mirror. She wears a rosary and prays to the Virgin Mary when <laughs> she can. She's Catholic now. She has lip liner. Hardcore lip liner with chapstick. She has a a, a playlist titled uh, My Heart, and it's just nothing but the Selena album. <laughs> she wears Dickies and Cortezes and, and cuffs the Dickies, but like irons them so that they're like pretty much like paper. Her alarm is just the, the beginning dialogue from Mi Vida Loca. <laughs> She watched La Bamba 36 times thinking that would like prep her and she thinks she's the white guy in uh in <laughs> blood and blood, <laughs> blood, and blood out. out. Yeah, she does. She yeah, she definitely calls herself Miklo. Oh my god. <laughs> Lanita. 
Um, so yeah, okay. La Lana. <laughs> that that that's so long. So yeah, first episode of Lana. That's so Lana. Gives she has no friends, and then uh, uh, what's her her place at? She doesn't go to school because because that's a Raven was she went to high school and She's then immediately. Homeless. <laughs> That's so Lana. So she, that, that's that's Lana. It's that's like, a, she's homeless. She and starts off with a cigarette. End of the episode. She's in a home. <laughs> wait. So <laughs> in the beginning of the episode, cigarettes, wait, so cigarettes to home. So the open, Lana Del Rey story. It open. It opens up. It's th- so that's a Lana. It opens up. She's on the street with a cigarette. Yeah. And then by the end of the episode, oh, but she talks with a transatlantic accent. She's like, "Whatever shall I do with this cigarette?" No. <laughs> No, <laughs> that's not Lana. That's not Lana. <laughs> that's a, wait. <laughs> now we're changing Lana too much. Okay, so so how does she get in the house? So like she broke seen, in. <laughs> have you seen those videos where it's like, okay, trading this paper clip to see what I can end up with? Oh, it's that's that's, like Lana. Okay. <laughs> that's Lana. Those videos are Lana. Double yeah. it and give it to the next person. Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah. She's like, uh, so I figured it out, guys. Um, I kept the cigarette, and the way I got into this house was <laughs> I just slept with him. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I ruined. I broke up a marriage. Yeah, actually, that, <laughs> this is just <laughs> her being a home wrecker. That's yeah, Lana. Yeah, she gets with an, a really old white guy, <laughs> like and senile. Yeah. And that's how that's Lana Del Rey's backstory. Yeah. So you go stream Norman Roswell now. Norman Roswell. Nor- Roswell. N- Norman Ros- Rosmith? What is it? I'll just let you think what you think it Norman is. Norman Fremont Rosmo. No, the F is not that. What's the F? The F word. Oh yeah, well we could say fuck. Can we not say are we not saying fuck? That's not very Lana of you. That's not Lana. <laughs> <laughs> what's not Lana? D- tell us that. Yeah, we we said what's Lana. What's not Lana? This um, is the thing. Like, I was, Lana I w- could be the same thing as what is Lana. It's just the way, the way it's presented. it's execution. Lana's like, a lifestyle. A it's not a. Could either be like Trailer Park Mom or it could be Lana. It's all about how it's executed. The line is very thin. Oh, okay, okay. It, it's all. So is it just um, when a <laughs> is being Lana just when a white woman does it? could be or a mexican be. woman oh good point oh it, it <laughs> uh so going forward cultural appropriation we're just calling lana yeah <laughs> i like how being homeless is lana <laughs> what's how's that performed well lana yeah you just what makes it lana yeah so so if i'm doing it but if i'm trailer park can someone in a trailer park smoking pull off the lana is there trailer park lana? It depends. Lanas? I don't. I don't know. You'll just know it when you see it. Why is it like it is? Why is it I, I think we got to get out of here on the the lana topic. Then we do. We got to move on. Um, no, we, we like we we got to. Oh, we, we how much time do we have? Left? We're at two minutes. We have two minutes left. We have two minutes left. So we got to end off on this, guys. Remember, don't pick off ones off the floor. It, you're no one. It's uh, it really kills the vibe. Should we should we plug our show? Uh, we need to plug the show again. So yeah, uh, March, March 31st, 31st Future is Color Colors Studios in Logan, in Logan Heights, Heights, next, next to Hayesburger. Take, Take Four Comedy, comedy Show. St- Fe- headli- headlined by Wabby Chris Espinosa. Pre- oh, Chris Espinosa's and headline. Brought to you by Wabby, Wabby Presents. That was good. Yeah, we're, we're, a good we're, episode. The last thirty seconds, we're gonna we're gonna riff on our most wanted. Um, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna give you. Aaron Rodgers. That's a good one. Um, the hater. Oh, uh, who's the pickle from SpongeBob? <laughs> I never liked <laughs> Kevin. Him. Kevin. I, I. My favorite part of SpongeBob is when he goes, "Do you want it to hurt, Kevin?" And he has like <laughs> steel boxing gloves. He's like, he, he's like, put yourself in the face. <laughs> that didn't hurt you. He's like, <laughs> do, you do you want, want it to hurt? hurt? <laughs> oh, okay, so Kevin, <laughs> which is like, of course that bitch ass pickles, Kevin. Uh, that's Kevin. Uh, and then um, Bubble Bass. Bubble Bass. And then uh, who else is my most wanted? It's over in like 10 seconds. Uh, you give your. Um, Kendall Jenner. And that's all. That's Lana. All right. We're out. Mm-hmm. Not a bad app. Yeah, that was good. Well, here's the thing. It also doesn't always have to be killer funny. We can have. I think it also would be easier if we had an hour because then we can flow in. One thing we should do back to back. What would we do back to back? Back to back episodes, or yeah. just just roll longer. Roll longer, okay. but I mean for now it's fine. We're just gonna make, but that was a good one. Yeah, choo choo carry. Yeah.